Welcome to my five minute distribution preview of Commodore OS Vision. Well, I'm not going to take too much time to look at this because after all it's just a beta. So um, let's just say, take a look at a few things that I thought looked really interesting. Um, one of my favorite parts of this was actually the terminal. You've got this uh, retro style terminal that looks like it came from the 80s, which is pretty cool. And um, um, and uh, I think that's kind of cool. Um, let's take a look at something else. Whoops. One of my complaints with uh, this layout, actually I like the retro style there's um, some really cool sound effects that happen in the background. But the downside is, um, you know, the file system just looks really kind of, uh, kind of dirty. For instance, you know, I mean, imagine taking and having this blue background on everything uh, while you're reading on top of it. I mean, it looks really cool. It's very retro. It's, it's kind of... Um, kind of a throwback to back in the day but you know I mean it's uh there's a point where it just kind of looks kind of unrefined and I'm sure that since this is a uh, um, a beta that a lot of this stuff will be cleaned up now um, actually let's get on to the stuff that I think is just downright awesome for instance um, the games now if you're if you're a gamer in Linux there's very uh, you know, there's there's a few cool ones to look for, but look at this. There's there's Free Doom here. You can play this, and it's just like the old game. You know, just go around and uh, shoot the uh, adapted aliens from the original game. Kind of cool. So that's awesome. And of course, there's other games as well. But let's take a look at do 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 some of the cool features. Uh, for instance, I mean, there's just like a lot of extras in Firefox for uh, ripping video from YouTube if you so wanted to do that. Uh, there's um, some emulators for some old Commodore systems, which is really cool. And uh, let's see here. I mean, it comes with GIMP. It comes with Picasa. It comes with... Uh, Let's Inkscape. Of course, they're giving it different names, but we all know that that's what they are. Um, Firefox and Chromium are both installed. Note that if I go over to YouTube, it'll give me the option to record whatever video I happen to click on. So, for instance, I turned off the animation here, but it will totally record that if I wanted to. And that's kind of cool. I used that once on the PC to grab a video from a concert. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? Um, let's look at the dock. Now, I couldn't get 3D features to work, and I figure that's probably because it's still under development. But I wanted to show you guys some of the really cool um, stuff that uh, they've got here that is uh, a really cool throwback to back in the day. Let's see here. Uh, one thing I really liked is that it's actually running off of Linux Mint, so you'll... Um, you'll notice it's got a lot of uh, similarities to Linux Mint. Um, basically they just uh, put a new uh, theme in front of it and um, <laughs> look at this, we ended with two monitors. For instance, it says that I'm running Release 1 Julia, which we know is a code word for one of the Linux Mint distributions. Um, I think it's 11. Uh, now I um, I kind of hope that they would uh, clean up this uh, this color scheme. I mean, I'm okay with the red and the blue and the throwback to the old uh, Commodore OS, but when you're using it in everywhere on the uh, the desktop, it can get kind of messy. And you know, it's uh, you're probably better off just being able to read something. For instance, I mean, let's face it: do you really want to open up LibreOffice and type an entire um, document with this blue border. I mean, I guess it could be worse, but hey, whatever. Um, you know, I'm being too hard on these guys. I mean, this thing is really flying on my computer, and for a beta, it's pretty cool. 
And I have to admit, I was having fun playing some of the games that they have pre-installed. So um, congratulations to Commodore OS. I'm really looking forward to the um, the actual release candidate or even the uh, release if they make it public uh, uh, later on. Thanks, guys, and thanks for listening to my 5-Minute Distribution Preview.